Hey guys, what's going on and uh, welcome to Killer Frequency. So, this is a game that uh, I've, been looking, I've been looking into for a while now. It's made by Team17, the same people that have made Overcooked and uh, a few other games that we've uh, seen on the channel. Uh, moving out, I think they've, they've also did. Um, so yeah, very, very uh, sort of uh, popular company, but they made Killer Frequency. Now, this is a game I do know a little bit about. It's a game where you are a radio talk show host, and you it is your job to uh, save people from a mysterious murderer that's haunting the town. Um, so and it's, a, it's a puzzle game, so like there's, there's puzzles we're going to have to do, and uh, we get to be a radio talk show host. So let's see what's, so let's see what's going on. KFAM, I guess, is the name of the radio. Man. Um, but it's made by Team 17, which I have a lot of respect for because they made Overcooked, Moving Out, gave it that really fun. But this is like a different departure. This is a horror game. Um, so it's a, it's a puzzle horror game, but you're, you're a talk show, so it's going to be really interesting. Okay. Move with that. Yep. Basic controls. I've played a video game before. Heavy dub. And this, I believe this is set in the 80s based on the neon style. It's hard to tell. Um, but. Ow. No. Pick up. I'm going to pick up Bodux. Cool. Can I throw it? Uh, drop objects, throw. Wow, you're uh, you're pretty weak, man. You're pretty weak. Very sad throw. I maybe hold it. It doesn't say to do that, but no, you can't. No, you just have a really um hold place an object. Oh, I see. Got it. Uh, well, bye. It dropped. What's this? Oh, you actually got a okay. It's those those controls. Got it. Makes sense to me. Love a good tutorial. Text pan is disabled. What? Oh. Now they're enabled. All right. Spooky. Well, I thought that was just gonna be the the one whistle. Creepy whistling. Hate it. Gonna die immediately. Imagine. Hello, how you doing? Would it be this? Oh, it's just another thing. I've done it. I flicked something. a lever. <laughs> that did something. Did it though? There's not like any fuses or anything in it. Uh, I don't know, it did something. Thor! Why'd you do that? You didn't need to bully the bottle like that. clearly the corner. Is there a murderer hiding in here? No? Okay. Well, no murders in here. All right. Investigate objects. Press to begin inspecting. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. K fam. So that's that's the name of the radio show, I think. Uh, towards your Yep. Press exit. Exit. Yep. Did that. Great. Awesome. This door does not have a door handle. It's a fake door. It's an imposter. It's like a cardboard cutout, and they just like set it up and like staple it. Press R3 to toggle pro. Oh, it's toggled. Thank you. Appreciate it. A lot of games use hold, which is fine in some games. Like Minecraft, I, I'd rather hold, but in these types of games, I'd rather just press it and toggle it. Murderer? You back there? Dang it. I wanted to see a murderer. I wanted yeah. to see someone die. Uh, direction located. Yep. Been le learned, le learned that already. Can I expect this? What does it say? Bunch of Bunch random of gibberish. That's just, uh, that's about that's as good as my handwriting. Scratch. There you go. Nice. So absolutely awful. Oh, I can do that. So I can hold. So I can probably hold two items then, right? Can I? Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, makes sense. We have two hands. Thank you for acknowledging that game. A lot of games don't acknowledge that you have two hands. Okay. So I can't read that. Uh oh, what did I do? What did I do? Clock ticking. That's a neon clock. Nice. Oh, fun. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, I saw that. That looked like a shadow oh, demon or something. Oh, hi, friend. How you doing? Hi. <coughs> Looking great. Uh, you're not gonna murder me, right? Can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? I'm dead. Definitely dead. Oh! Yep, definitely dead. Yeah, Defi yeah, definitely dead. dead. All right. That's a pretty good introduction. Love the music. Oh yeah, I've been told the music in this game is absolutely astounding. So let's do it. Because we are a radio show, meaning we gotta we, we get to play music. It's freaking music, man. Let's freaking do it. I'm so excited for this game. I, I like watched the trailer for it on Steam and it looks amazing. When did it come out? 
front. I reason I want to say 20 it's in the it's beyond 2020, so 2021 or something. It's only a couple years old, I think. If if that might even be sooner. Never heard of it actually. It's uh but it's by like I said, it's by Team 17, which we I I know them as a company already, so I know that their games are pretty pretty high quality. So I'm very excited for this. I've been told this is like one of their best games. Like even above Overcooked and stuff, so I'm very excited. Um but yeah, so I guess, so was that us playing as the first victim? Because that'd be kind of cool. Like, we get to, and then we play as someone else later, and get to be like, oh yeah, this someone someone disappeared tonight as they're outside the whatever. So, seems to, may, I mean, maybe, I don't exactly know. But it seems like that we played, we, we played as a, oh. Alright. We're in the radio you, studio. Uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know. Oh, we. How? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> not dogs, no, great, not great dogs. description. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Huh? Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ disc? Uh, probably, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Alright, fine. It's a, it's a decision-based game, too. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Captain speaking. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Never, Never say that again. <laughs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Okay, we got blast process. We got okay, it flicks it. Come on, David Scorpo. Scorpo. Uh, the, the flow. flow. Crying for help. The uh, late night forest. lurker. Crying for help. I'm looking at it, man. Oh, Stabbing the twelve. Yeah, <laughs> these are great names for songs for what's about to come later. Knife and ease. Storm Raiders, or Riders, I think. Uh, the hangups. Let's just do uh, late night. Lurkers. The record box is on the left. Shut sure up. We know what to do. On the right. Pick a record and stick it on if the turntable. Then hit play. How do I do though? Oh, do I have to. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. Got it. Late night Great. Now turn it off. Turn it off. Stop on it to zoom. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Blinky light. All okay, right, got Peggy. that. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> that was Great. so funny. And button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Mm. Hmm. Is there a Peggy? <laughs> I haven't done it yet. That's now, hilarious. Come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. I was going to say, I already see which one it is. Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster? Oh. The soundboard? There we go. <laughs> Always good for a cheap laugh. Alright, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These yep. should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. <laughs> I love the soundboard! The freaking sound. <laughs> it's just... The POV or Zach and you make a joke? No, that's you. Got him. So real. That's you whenever you show up. <laughs> oh, that's great. You so know I'm going to be using this. Joke. Okay, what is these? Oh, is that our... Sliders should be right in front of you. Yeah, I got it. Like, directly in front. Oh, it's like a... Okay. <clears throat> it's a, so I think our I think our show is called The Scream, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I got the sliders, man. Yeah, you gotta do it on a record. Well, I already did, though. I already moved no, it. You did it! I literally did. Record! I wanna play... 
this one. I want this one. Boing. Now you can adjust. Alright. Seems to be That's the music. We we got Captain this is the tape <laughs> thing, which is this. That's the soundboard. This is, I have no clue. Oh, it's probably the phone. Yeah, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. All right. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Good. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Alright, 12. We got, we got 12. smart till 6 a.m. <clears throat> oh my god, it's a FNAF game too? Oh my gosh. This is Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening Forrest to Nash. 189.16, The Scream. Before Love we start it. taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> He's so over it. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Oh, yeah, yeah as you good. do. Oh, yeah. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I the just obvious tape play button. Do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Is there a tape already in there? Oh, there's tapes here. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we Master were doing Robbie? this tonight. That does hey, not sound right. Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Harvest Festival? No, I, I don't have the tape. We don't it have may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. No clue that is. We're going to need a screen tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... Are you serious? <laughs> I hate what I've become. <laughs> oh, I choose with that. Okay, good to know. Uh, are you serious? Really? Peggy, you want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. The perturbed Yeti scream. The falling from cliff scream. The drowning scream. The falling from, falling from, from cliff. cliff. That's... <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so <laughs> over it. Colin, you can tell he doesn't get paid enough. If you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one amazing free Maze fried Maze. dough. Fried dough. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, we got a choice thing. We got a choice. Yes. It's time to go on the journey that is Last Processor with their hit song 1980X. Cool. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? That's a great Why question, man. Forrest, that's going to be the highlight of my week. <clears throat> Taco text panels. Oh, yeah, you did it. Of course, there's a call coming in. It's time to turn the music off. Yep, figured. Which one? Okay, there. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going Forrest on with Nash. you today? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh, calling to guess that scream. Slow night. Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> uh, this one, I guess? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? 
as a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Oh. I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. <laughs> it's First, in your contract. I really don't think this is a prank. Let's call the sheriff. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Whoa. Sheriff Matthews is dead? Oh, so if dead? I said, what about the I sheriff? I didn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh, is, anyone, is there anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? And anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> See? Now Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Oh. Leslie, All right. do you have any idea Sick. who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, oh, no. I've routed all oh, 911 oh, calls no. to come in to you. That's a bad idea. Let me know this is a bad idea. <laughs> that is a bad idea. All right, but it's the, the, the game's going to make me do it either way, so you can count on me. You can count on me. I'll, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Oh, I can't do this on the call. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss Come ideas, on. work together. I know it. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. So break down the door, find a way to enter the cell, find another set of keys. There's usually... <coughs> wouldn't the sheriff have the keys? There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check Sheriff Matthews. Yeah, that's Maybe what I was saying. Sheriff say. Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over. Bro, I'm getting absolutely scammed. Please don't stare at me. Wow. I. Nice. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So 
far so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I can't handle this all night. I think I think we can handle this. I'm quitting kayfabe if this is a prank. <laughs> I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. <coughs> It's the right thing to do. You're leaving. We're on our own. <coughs> also, Zach has COVID. Shut up. Uh, what's in the live temp clock? It's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now, I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh. Something happened. Oh, she did. What? Oh, Your car just explode. My car. my car is on fire. What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What Some happened? Wait. Oh. What? Oh my god. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask and... Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling, the whistling man? man. Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Wore that mask, but he's dead. He's what the hell? Oh God! Do you think? Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside. Okay, the, some the of them are timed. Right. Take a police? Is there a police cruiser there? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... Just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. I'm just a genius. Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Okay. Sheriff Matthews might not have any bullets because he sh shot the attacker <coughs> before. Yeah. Martinez should have bullets still, right? So yeah. the, the taking her gun is much more smart, I think, here. Yeah. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could yeah, but then that? Martinez would Deputy be unarmed, Martinez's but... Gun is missing. Oh, whatever. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me Wouldn't it be out of bullets? Yeah, yeah I was about to say. Empty. So both choices are wrong. It's empty. Great. He must have emptied it trying to... Defend yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I picked the other one. Is there a weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Well, if she's a police officer, she'd have a taser, and then... All right. That's probably it. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one mm. if I'm carrying Deputy Matt, Martinez. Pepper spray is not going to work because it's a... Pepper spray thing. and baton both need to be close range. Taser. Taser is the obvious choice. Yeah, Leslie needs to take a weapon with her, but which one? Pepper spray is close. You, the guy wouldn't mask. need to be close, and he's wearing a mask. The baton also needs to be close, and is, is stupid. Taser, 100%. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, and then... You still see the whistle? Probably not. If she hadn't said it, be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez. If you can 
hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. Huh. Speak to you soon. Oh, like one's excited and one's not. Uh, this one. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, we are? Okay, so that's how I can tell when we're live. Oh, I should probably oh, play music. I think we've got Leslie back oh, on the mind. line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here, over. We're here. <laughs> Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seats don't have cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn oh, no. it! Get back! Get away from her! Time. What's happening? Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Hey, no swearing! Yeah! Take that! Tasered him. Oh, drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Are you okay? Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser... Definitely the right call. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowhere spell, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, we'll do our best. You better floor it. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in... I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Nice. A shocking turn of events. Yeah, so. You heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The, the Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Alright, we'll do it. We have to introduce this one. Yeah. It's funky, it's <coughs> groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by Knife and Easy. It's freaking awesome, dude. Let's go. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. What? That's not helpful. That was a scam. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial great. killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Fun. No wow. Music no motive. Just. Oh, wait, we got a thing. Okay, what happened to him and he's come back tonight? So we're screwed. We're screwed. Because <laughs> it sounds like we're screwed. Oh. <laughs> Probably not. That's great. Police chased him up to Alice Point one night. We call it Whistling Point. Mm. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. 
So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. <laughs> so we're screwed. So we're screwed. <laughs> All right, we'll do our best. Right. So copycat or ghost killer? I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around thirty-five. Thirty-five? Isn't thirty-five hundred? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, thirty-five people. <laughs> Best. 35 at best? We only have 35 listeners? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. A uh, school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. oh. How many <laughs> did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We can only dream of I think he's talking about million. Five, yeah, I was going to say, he would have said 5,000. Million? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah. foreshadowing. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Turn that off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Great. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Completely normal. Unconvincing whistling. You know my name. <laughs> Weak whistle. <laughs> If you're gonna pretend to be a whistle man, you at least gotta be able to whistle. Do you yeah, accept requests? Request. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us. I, I mean, <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we do? Yeah, come on. No, I want to deal with them. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll do it. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Sure is. The flow. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Great. I love these I, all I song names that, that are terrible. Pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. 
It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. <coughs> we already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. I gotta turn that off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name? And what's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Uh, we probably don't want to scare her. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Mm. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car. You got a flat. But I drove jazz to ran. somewhere along the way. Great. Can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost them. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Can you go back and find your keys? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, the whistling! The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. It is on, yes. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. That actually fits so well for what she just said. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. That's yeah. a mouthful. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Wow. They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Absolute anyway, scam, dude. Go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. I gotta leave? We gotta actually leave. Oh, man. Okay. I'm out of here. I quit. <laughs> quit. Down, down the hall, she said. So probably this one. That's the bathrooms. And can I eat? That's the woman's. Can... No, that's. The oh, woman's. that's okay. That's the yeah, man's. that's man. I need to go. To... What? <coughs> oh, it's one of these doors. Oh, it's a um, double. Hang on. Gotta take a big old dookie right now. Oh wait, what's this? This looks useful. Wait. Fix all cars. That's a car. Wait. That's a car. It's car brand. It's car brand. Ad. Wait a minute. She oh. said to go down the hall. Whoa, try yourself. Keyless key technique. Step one. Use screwdriver as key. If that fails, remove st uh, steering column cover. Check the serial number, then strip twice. Okay. Oh, we have, like, colors we gotta worry about, too. Where's the... I'm sorry. Is there someone after me? This is terrifying. Is there just a red neon light out there or something? Because that's pretty creepy. I found the thing, like, she said down the hall, though. That's not, I mean, this to me is down the hall. What's this? Oh, I'm reading so this many thing. locked doors, so few keys. Oh, I can open this one, though. It's like, so cool, dude. Got, like, an office space here. Wait, let, me, let me just go do the thing. I don't want to, I don't want to go off the beaten track here. So I'm reading this thing. There's, like, something about serial numbers. It, it sounds like keep talking, no one explodes. Like, oh, if it's if there's a this and this and that. I'm gonna trade place items in the tray and hold them while one calls. Oh, I uh, see. Do not touch the live wire. Does this say? Do not touch this live wire. Oh, the purple wires. Okay, the purple wire is live, I guess. Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Sure does. Okay, Forrest, 
Shut the music off. All right. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do I start this baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Unscrew the steering wheel. Step two, hit the steering wheel with the hammer. No. The screwdriver, the screwdriver. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Then the steering wheel. Oh, Steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Then step three is the serial number. Time exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't do your jazz breathing. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. And do this. Good. Stay calm. I need the wire. serial number for this. What's the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. There's a oh. Oh, okay, thank you for putting that there. My goodness. And it's not time. Though. Okay, it's not time. Thank you, game. Really appreciate it. Okay, five, seven. Okay, so what's the first one? So if there is a four before a three and no seven, four, four before a three, there is, but there is a seven, so that's wrong. I need the other one, please. Uh, if there's a six anywhere and it doesn't start with five, it does start with five, so that doesn't matter. Next one, please. There's only three of these, so it must be the other one. Uh, if there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, what? Dead air. There is a zero at the end. And it does become, it does come before us. wait. And a three doesn't come before a six, it does not come before the six. Okay, it's so red, so it's gotta be that one. Red, so it's red, red and, and yellow. yellow. Red and yellow. So it's the bottom one. Strip the twist, yeah, red and yellow strip wires. And twist together okay, what's next, by the way? Red and yellow wires. Right. Now strip the purple wire, do not touch the live wire. Purple, not pink. Strip the purple wire and twist into the exposed cable. Strip the pink wire, pink's wrong. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twist. No. It says not to touch it. Yeah, don't. So it's gotta be the top one. Touch. Now strip the purple wire. Strip the purple wire and twist onto exposed cable. Oh, oh wait. Oh, brush the, the purple wire, wire against the. Oh, okay. So it is that one, I guess. It's, it's doing two steps in one, I guess. The radio turns on and won't turn off. Cut the left pink wire. The alarm is sounding because the triple braided green wire. That's not used right now. Okay, so it's so it's the bottom one then. It has to be. Because pink's wrong. Middle, <coughs> middle's wrong. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it has to be the. Okay. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay. Okay. Strip and brush and. <gasps> nice. Yeah, yeah, Peggy was celebrating, baby. Oh, sick, man. Oh, sweet. Better say, belay off the jazz. We did it. I almost can't believe it, but we did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am, baby! Oh. Terrible. <laughs> we did it, Forrest! We sure did. Keep talking and nobody <laughs> dies! <laughs> Great. Excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. <coughs> All right, I nice. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's, nothing, it's a sad place on Earth. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. The people are 
to like and uh, oh, friendly, oops. usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. You don't notice the stink <laughs> after a while. Oh, wow. <laughs> Some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? My brain is coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the screen contest? <laughs> yeah, don't even answer yeah, that. That'd probably be yeah, a good no idea. One guess the scream. Someone died. Twelve forty-two. <laughs> this is this is a cool game so far. I love it. Caller on line one. Yoink. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of one eighty-nine point sixteen. The scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. And it's Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Oh, heck yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Free pizza. Free pizza. <coughs> Let's go. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great <laughs> deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. <coughs> free ad. Oh, you get free advertisement out of this? Pretty tasteless. No, I'm not gonna uh, uh, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Poggy's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Poggy's Pizza <laughs> this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling me <laughs> to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, got him. real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? No. Do I know how to play a cassette? Yes. Sure. Uh, let's play the totally American one. Let's do it. Uh, open, please. Oops, that's actually. Oh, yeah, do this. Put it in there, and then hit play. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. <laughs> is the American Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> like his father and all his fathers before him, oh, it's a Teddy Gallows Great. Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike... <laughs> we're trying to do that on, on live. Are we still live? No, we're not. Neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors, like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, <laughs> Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a it's job. Lad. Teddy what I just Gallows said Jr. ten seconds ago. Believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. <laughs> Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, 
He set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Yeah, right. so that's usually how it Let's works, yeah. get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? <laughs> yeah, sure. Got him. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie, this is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait, Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. I am 911, at least for tonight. I am the law. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. You dead. Uh, Sheriff Matthews dead. is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. Didn't you just say someone broke Sorry. in? I think you have more concerning things to do. We're live on We're air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. Some idiot kid just <coughs> broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. They sure hey! do. They sure do. They sure do. I don't think it's a teen, yeah. Don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Did you see his body? He's not back. Oh, what? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the We gotta play for that. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. You get out of there think you can take <laughs> the whistling man? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. Is he I'm shot? not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was oh. him tipping over my I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Buy Mary some time and get, ex get an exclusive interview. Get an exclusive interview with the killer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't <coughs> killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful. You're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Did you print something? Yeah. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. 
Gotta check the fax machine. How do you know our fax machine number? Where's the fax machine? That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Mm. Tell me where no. the fax machine is again. We Penny? saw it in that room. The fax over there. machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Thanks, Becky. Be right back. I saw it earlier when yeah. we went to go get the thing. You can't keep your own paper. Okay. You have to play the game now. Go to the office on the We've other We've been playing the, the game the entire time. Pay attention. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Oh, I like the reverberation on that. Yeah, I saw this earlier. It's right here. Yeah, whatever. This must be it. Okay. So he's. Where did he say? He's in the boardroom. And the stairs are over there. Okay, so there's the so there's okay there's a phone in the kitchen, the archives, and the editors and the boardroom, I guess. But we don't want to call that one. No. Okay. There's cubicles. Okay. It's secret archive. Okay. So we know which ones have things. So we probably want. So we want to call. So they're gonna go to the option. I don't know how this is gonna play out. But if if we if he's coming, if the whistle man's coming from up the stairs, we want to call the editor's thing, meaning he goes all the way in there, and that gives the guy time to just uh, get out of there. So yeah. <coughs> I don't know how it's gonna play out though. We'll see. Uh, let's put that there. One eighty nine point sixty. Hey, it. did you get the fox? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. Did you get my fax? Yep, got it right here. Yeah, I got Can it Can you right send here. it again? Good. I knew you could at least manage that. That's pretty okay, rude. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall, leading up to the boardroom. Hmm. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end for it. So we need to call the editors. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing <clears throat> an extension number. Oh, three. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, yes. what extension should I call? Oh, three. Oh, uh, it's the editors. Editors of it. Because if he's across the thing, he should hear it. That gives that guy time to go. We don't want to do, I mean... Kitchen would be stupid because he's trying to go that way. So it'd be dumb to make him to make the killer go to the kitchen. Yeah. Archives, same same reason, doesn't make sense. Editor's uh thing, he needs to go all the way over there to go go over there. So I don't, we don't want to call the boardroom. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. Alright, Nash. Where do I need to go? Okay, you should go. Where should you so we have kitchen and archives? No, oh, that's normal archive. Okay, normal archives might be okay. Um, either of these are fine. I mean, the kitchen is technically a little closer. He said he searched every room on the way to the office, right? So really, this choice—I don't know if this matters. Uh, we can go. With, we can go with the kitchen though, because it's technically a little closer. We're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. Checked. Right. So he didn't check again. Yeah. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Just Make don't go call. at the same time, because yes, that'd be sir. the stupidest thing to do. Calling it. now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Get wrecked. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Oh, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Shutting off the TV so he won't see That's him. also smart. Yeah. Yeah. I completely smart. forgot that you had a thing in there. I move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Yeah, that's true. We gotta think of something else. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? What is ready over? However, be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Good. I gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. 
So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. No, you don't have no time. Not quickly. Yeah. Or quietly. Maybe play dead? Can you lock him in a room? That'd He's be... not gonna fight him, that's <clears throat> stupid. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably... That would definitely buy some time. Enough, right? Yeah. Mm. Inside, he'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! I got it. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive! Reggie would love that. Not the time, Peggy. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets. About not the time, Peggy. Things? Shut up. No, it's not the hey, time. I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids. We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. Big time. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that. Mm. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in, you yep. can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. And then boom. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Sometimes we'll get so out some of the secret know. archive then. There's no phone can't. in there. Yeah. Archive is a room for <laughs> no gossip. Not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas for us? Choice. Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait. That's dumb. There's not gonna be. There's a not gonna be a TV in there. But there's a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio All in right. the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Alright. He's still in the office. I hope he's a... We, we just told Peggy not to do that, so we're not going to do that. might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. Oh, okay. I'll sneak over oh, while our friend... Okay, so he's still in the editor's office. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay, so radio was the right choice then. Because okay. I don't think there's going to be TV. Why would there be a TV in there? Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Let's make it happen. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. I don't think how it's how it's going to work, but... I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash. Hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. Nice. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some Don't juice. do that, you idiot. No. Reese, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Sure you were, pal. Sure. Don't believe you for the a second. Radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, goddammit. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. Yes. But wait! We're the radio. Oh. You just be quiet until you're ready. Mmm. Uh, that is pretty genius, that, actually. Then, yeah, sure. 189.16. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. You confirm that? 189.16. You have a stinger, Peggy? One of the best and the only. No, that's correct, I assume. You got it. 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I tuned it. Okay, cool. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay, so he's in. So, so he's in the archives, right? Uh huh. The yeah. killer's in the editor's room. You should go to the board. The boardroom. Right? He hasn't checked the boardroom. That's true. It's probably the board. Do we have the option of that? We yes. do. Yes. Okay. Kitchen is dumb. 
Archives is even stupider, so it's gotta be border. So yeah, it has to be border. It has to be border. He hasn't checked there. The extension is zero four. Because like he's in the archives. The room is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I mean, it's it's the kitchen is dumb because he's right over there. He's gonna see him. Archives is even dumber because that's where he currently is. So it's uh, gotta be that. I'm sure. Make I'm the sure. Call. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Like, let the killer go in there first, and then he can go. If he goes at the same time, I'm going to become the Joker. Because that's just stupid. This man just constantly He's whistle. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Personate, I'll give fake advice. Call the killer. Okay, can we do an impersonation? I'm gonna do my best impersonation. Of what? Movies. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, pal. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call wow. coming in. Well, I mean, might Here fool him a little bit, so. Radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? That's stupid. Yeah, no. I got a big cabinet, but uh, mm. that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself. No. But that's where the killer's going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. No, because then you go out. You go out at the same time. Oh, judgment has kept me alive. It's gotta be so the cabinet. Hiding under the desk is dumb, if you can see under. What's the point of that? Secret archive is, is... Why is this an option? Why is that even an option? Hide among the cubicles. The, my guess is for the, what this one's going to do. They're going to go out at the same time. He's going to see him. He's going to get murdered. It's got to be the cabinet. Because, like, sure, the guy's going to be... Where it, is it, it, it takes a sec... It, literally in the same room that he's in. It takes <laughs> him, like, a second to get in there, sure. But the guys are going to be going towards the secret archive because yeah. we're going to be luring him. So, hide in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Say anything. Say be quiet. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Okay. Yeah. That's it. No more hiding. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Got him. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! Got him? We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Let's go! That actually work. Genius. Was there ever any doubt? Come on, Maurice, was there ever any doubt? Think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, okay. Talk now what I said? Yourself. All right, then. <coughs> there we are, folks. The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Wow. wow. That was awful. <laughs> Game over. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I do. Did you really introduce that? But sure. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. 
I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. I'll regret this. All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh. oh I'm sorry, oh. Forrest. So it goes. You're sorry, why did you do it? <laughs> uh, that's great. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Five ninety nine. That's crazy, man. Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Uh oh, what a coincidence. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. And then he got himself into a wreck. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? It's a trap. I don't know. <coughs> Definitely a trap. Definitely a trap. No, it's a trap. You don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll pass you. We're the not on the air. Gee, thanks, Peggy. This is the biggest trap I've ever seen in trap history. What? What did that say? What did that say? I don't know that said whatever. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. He found second floor stairway. We're gonna die. Oh yeah, definitely. De oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, it's basically already over. Yeah, it's over. Can I go to the roof? Nope. Oh, it's padlocked. What? Isn't that that's a safety hazard? Yo, this place is sick, man. The word. There's the word. K fan. One ninety nine point sixteen. The screen. Room service. Oh, I can hear what's going on from there. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm on my coffee. Give me my coffee. I want it immediately. There's no coffee. There's no coffee. No. Absolute scam. I'm out of here. Oh, that's cool. I'm exploring. Nice. New music to play. Oh, sweet. Nice. Can I just pick up all these? Oh, that's not a thing. Died alone. Great. Oh, these are like comics. Okay. What is this? Data bills? <coughs> I don't know what that is. <gasps> Kitties! I guarantee those are the developer's cats. That's how these games usually work. That's adorable. What the frick is this? It's a random magazine. Oh, it's, oh, the, the, it's that one. Okay. Just an open version of it. Can I read this? Nope. Nope, just random just gibberish. Scribbles. That looks readable. Uh, this does look readable, yeah. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad? What kind of stupid name Brad? P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Nice. Friend zoned. <coughs> they said see other people, meaning they already were. I need a key to get in there. Oh, well, aren't Imagine. you special? Yeah. There's that one. Stab in the toilet. Stab in the toilet so far is my favorite. I don't have this one. Caged Tiger. Oh, that's cool. The actual thing is an eyeball. That's genius. Storm Raiders we have... Is Storm Raiders or Raiders? Oh, it's Riders. I keep saying Raiders. Idiot. Raiders would be a cooler name. The Raiders. Because they're raiding the storm. Tape. That is definitely a trap. On 
air. We're not going to play that in air because nope. that'd be mega dumb. Oh, hello. Well, we're going to have to because it's going to be part of the story. What the frick is going on here? I think it was. What one was this? There we go. Uh. That got me? What? What was that? What? Did someone just fall down the stairs? I'm so confused. Okay, I was trying to read this. Someone bang on the door. Janie plus Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak at peak Mount Everest. Hot David? Hot David. Is that actually his name? It's probably his nickname or something. Stupid nickname. Oh, part two. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. G Jimmy! Only one. Gosh darn it, Jimmy! Oh, that's good! <laughs> Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Wait, why wouldn't Jimmy have votes if Jimmy's not if Jimmy's good at driving? I'm confused. Most likely to win an Oscar. Lisa, most likely to end up in a car crash. At least, I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy being on there is yeah, that makes sense. Good. Jimmy. Okay, that's all. This is just a friendship test. I don't think that matters. Creepy hour. These are all like prolonging the thing. Rock on, Gallows Live. Cool, cool. Janie, cool. Same thing, probably. So, got a ruler, fan, nothing else important here? Oh, we got a card. Uh, good job on the- good job on the new job. Nice. Good job on the new job. Uh, Janie, good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Lots of love, Mom. Don't, Don't mess, mess it up! Don't mess it up! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You'll get fired. You'll be a loser for the rest I of your life. I love the- I love the things where it says, uh, great job on the thing. No, don't f it up! Oh, that's a mousetrap. Attention staff, please stop putting stickers on office furniture. You're co lowering lowering the resale value of everything. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie. Wow. The screen. Can't read that. Random thing. Nothing else you can read, it looks like. Nope. Except for the cave thing. Okay, cool. Well, we got what we came for. We got, we got this thing. The screen. Yeah, this is 100% a trap, if ever. So. Yeah, this is a trap. I mean, maybe that wasn't a trap specifically, but this is absolutely a trap. Yeah, we're gonna, like, so die. Imagine dying. Oh, so screwed. You're just gonna leave the door wide open? Yep. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette. The door's closing the door. itself. It says, sure is. play me on air. Alright. Well... Really? We got to do it anyway. You know what, Peggy? You're the one who would die first in the home. Alright, if this is... If we die because of this, uh, I blame you personally. Yeah, blame Peggy. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to... Pay the price. Mm. Time to... Pay for life. Time to... Sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this... I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Uh, trash. That's what that is. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Uh, be careful. Folks, the, oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful. Be oh, yeah, but yeah, wait a stay minute. Stay home and stay safe. He is li or let he escape. Kid, I huh? think he escaped or something. <laughs> or yeah, it was someone nine, fake, one, but one. he said he had a knife. So either way, it's probably good we still locked that one guy up though. Alright, if this is an intermission, I think we can leave it there for this episode. It looks like hey, it is. We had a call come in. Well that's good for you, because I think we gotta leave it there. Yep. Fifty five paper balls best for from the disc. That's great. Wow. Let's save seven oh seven seconds. Oh, that's fine, it's fine. Um, but there you go. I am really enjoying this game so far. Um, it's a really good game. I uh, love the music in it. Uh, the stab in the night or whatever is my favorite. I want it. We can play the new one that we got uh, in the next episode. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun story game. So uh, expect more of this uh, coming up. I know it's not like, it's, it's not as long as a tour or anything, but I know that it's a really good game. Um, and uh, it's a choice based game as you can see. So we, we determine whether the people die or not, which I think is really fun. Um, so for example, we saved everyone, everyone so far, I think. We saved the officer that's going to get help. We saved, um, the lady at the, uh, jazz the lady. jazz lady by hot wiring her car. And then we just saved the guy, uh, from maybe the Whistling Man, maybe not. I don't know who he is yet. Um, but either way, we said we're saving people. My goal is to save as many people as possible because I want to do that. 
Um, and but yeah, it's really fun. Uh, it looks like there's collectibles as well because the keys I think she's gonna give us to unlock plays, but the records look like collectibles, so that looks so that's gonna be really fun. So let me know if you want to see more of this. But uh, on the left, you can check out the Killer Frequency playlist because there's gonna be playlists for it. And then on the right, you can check out another story-based game, Detroit Become Human, is the story-based game we're currently doing. It's an awesome game, so go check that out over on the right. And then uh, if you like the content you're seeing, please consider subscribing. Try to finish every series you can, except Live Man's because Luigi, Luigi and no one likes him. It's Saturday, so Larylin is ugly. And he's stupid, so you don't want, you never want to play his game. I know that the HD version of two came out. No one liked two to it's begin with. The best, so like, the best and, literally the worst the one out of the three. To come out literally the, the worst of the three, though. Like it's worst, of the, worst of the three. You even admitted that yourself. So I don't want to hear. It. Yeah, it was anyway, um, it's 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 uh, that's wrong. Anyway, so yeah, that's a completely year, ugly game. Um, it's the best game that came out never uh, because it's a terrible game. Shut um, up. So yeah, there you go. And then I uh, check out the podcast and meet my friends. Have it's called the Provokers. You can check us out wherever you get your podcasts. And then uh, check the link in the description for uh, the merch store. We have Blast of Blame Zachary shirts. Everyone's fan favorite. We have a uh, bunch of other stuff as well. We have AOG stuff. So go check out that. Check all that out in the links in the description. But uh, that's gonna do it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.